music when people don't want to follow the whole reduced speed and construction uh, understanding. Like, slow down, you're in a construction zone. Space is a little narrow. There's people working. There's uneven roads. Is the chance of you hitting a bump and it's making your vehicle do something you weren't suspecting or better yet the people around you driving and anticipating their actions like right here in this area it's barely big enough for two semis side by side yet this is the area where you always get the knucklehead that wants you to pass, or wants to pass you because you're slowing down because of the, uh, I don't know, the whole sign that says slow down a construction zone. Like, do they not realize it's there for a purpose? Do they not realize it's kind of a uh, law in a sense? I don't know the exact verbiage of how much of a law or how technical law it is but it's still something you can get a ticket for like speeding because technically you're speeding through a construction zone but it carries a little bit higher penalty because you're in a construction zone like seriously people like right here like this bridge section here it looks like a full-size bridge or whatever, but it's not. Both sides of this bridge are incomplete. It's just highway dividers on either side. Like, they're not finished. They're just sitting there. They might have a couple bolts holding them down. But, like, why is it that everybody speeds through construction zones? The inconvenience of slowing down a few miles an hour to make sure you get through it safely is far better than you knuckleheads that want to just fly through here doing 5, 10 over the posted sleet speed limit before it's reduced for the construction zone. Like it says, 60 miles an hour. I've had people passing me doing about 75 in this area. Car and semi alike. It's like, seriously people, slow down. It's a few miles of construction. It's been here a few years now. It is not worth speeding through this section, causing hindrance. Like, it really isn't. Like, I don't know how many accidents have been in this section of Arkansas on 30. Between... The 440 and uh, wherever this ends, I forget where, where the construction ends, but it's not far. It's about, I think about 10, 10 20 miles of, of construction. Check your speed, like this one. Check your speed. Thousand up to fines up to a thousand dollars for speeding. Now, in all fairness, I haven't seen too many patrol officers in this construction area. 
And I've been through it all times a day. But I've not seen too many. And I've seen even fewer people actually pulled over. So a big portion of it is the fact that there's nobody enforcing these rules and regulations. Alright, so about the 111. So from about the 111 to like the 120. Or 119, something like that. That's where the main construction is here in Little Rock. Or Bitten, or whatever it is. But it's like, come on, people. Slow down. It's narrow lanes. We'll be in super truckers, guys. Just because you're like, I know how to drive my truck, and I know what my truck will do. Okay, that's all good and dandy. That's you. Nine times out of ten, the issue isn't yourself. It's the people around you. I'm willing to bet most accidents construction zones aren't the actual quote-unquote people that know what they're doing. It's the knuckleheads and retards that want to multitask and play with shit in their car. Or they just not paying attention upright because they're distracted by some something they see out a window. And they hit a bump. Or they hit a curb. Or they hit something that they're not expecting and they overreact. Yeah, that's my little PSA. Slow down to construction zones. Put me in the super trucker, super drivers that think that just because they know how to drive that they're fine. Most of the time, like I said, I'm willing to bet it's not the person that knows what they're doing that has the issue. It's the people that they don't. So remember that. Just because you think you know best or you're great driver and you've never had access blah 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 that's fine you're not the issue in most cases I'm willing to bet it's everyone else and that's the whole reason they're called accidents you never planned on it happening you never thought it would happen hence the name accident Accident. Something not planned or expected to happen. 